Hey folks, Aldo here. For those who may not know me, I'm a ZTM alumni who went from absolutely no tech background or experience to becoming a full stack developer. And now I've made it my mission to help others thrive and succeed in their own journeys. Today we're exploring a topic that's close to my heart and I believe can be incredibly useful for aspiring coders, especially those striking out on their own or making a career shift. The 10 insights I desperately wish I knew before learning to code. Our mission with this video is to arm you with not just advice, but transformative principles that go beyond the code. These are the type of insights that will not only save you time and energy, but also a bit of your sanity. This isn't about quick fixes or surface level hacks. It's about diving into the core strategies that will create a fulfilling and successful career in tech. So grab your cup of coffee, sit in your favorite chair, and let's go over the 10 insights that will revolutionize your coding journey. Let's go. Kicking things off, the very first insight is all about choosing the right language. Now you might be wondering, isn't coding all about loops, conditions, and functions regardless of the language? Well, yes, but there's much more to it. The truth is the language you start with can shape your learning experience influence your problem solving skills, and even determine the types of jobs available to you in the tech world. It goes beyond just syntax. It's about finding a community that supports you, resources that guide you, and projects that ignite your passion. For instance, if you're drawn to web development, then JavaScript could be the best starting point. Ever dreamed of developing apps, then Swift for iOS and Kotlin for Android could be your calling. The key is to align your language choice with your interests and goals. Remember, there is no one size fits all. The best language is the language that keeps you curious and motivated to learn more. Moving on to our second key insight, we're talking about the fundamentals. You see, in the rush to create something quickly or jump into more flashy aspects of coding, it's easy to overlook the bedrock upon which all coding skills are built, the fundamentals. Think of it like building a house. Without a solid foundation, it doesn't matter how beautiful the design is, it won't stand strong over time. And trust me, I know it's difficult. When I was first learning to code, every new tool felt like a shiny object, simultaneously exciting and distracting me. But spending sufficient time on the fundamentals, even when it seems less thrilling, will make all the difference. It's like learning the chords on a guitar before trying to play a song. Yes, it isn't the part that gets the crowd cheering, but without it, the music just isn't possible. Our third insight is often overlooked, but an absolutely critical aspect of coding and beyond, and that is learning how to learn. Mastering this skill can exponentially speed up your progress, allowing you to absorb and apply new knowledge more effectively. It's not just about what you learn, but how you approach learning in itself. Methods like the 80-20 rule and the Feynman technique are perfect examples of this. At Zero to Mastery, we believe in this wholeheartedly, which is why we have a course dedicated to learning how to learn. If you want to learn more, no pun intended, you can watch the course outline video in the description below. Anyways, incorporating these approaches into your learning routine can make all the difference. They empower you to break down complex information, retain it more effectively, and apply what you've learned in real world practical settings. Next up, our fourth insight is a skill that every coder needs but not everyone talks about, the art of reading documentation. Yes, it may not sound as exciting as writing code, but it's equally as important. Documentation is your roadmap in the vast landscape of coding. Whether it's understanding a new library, troubleshooting a bug, or getting familiar with the new framework. Here's a tip from my own experience. Start with the overview or introduction sections to get a broad sense of what you're dealing with, then dive into the specifics as needed. You don't need to read it like an insurance policy either. Remember. Practice makes perfect, the more you interact with different types of documentation, the more intuitive it becomes. Mastering this skill will not only make you more independent, but will also significantly speed up your learning and development process. So while it may seem boring at first, investing the time in understanding how to properly read documentation will save you countless hours down the line. Now, our fifth insight might seem counterintuitive, embrace the bugs. Yes, you heard that right. Every coder from beginners to seasoned pros encounters bugs. They're not just obstacles, they're opportunities. 
Bugs are a natural part of the coding process, offering invaluable lessons in troubleshooting, critical thinking, and resilience. Each bug that you encounter teaches you more about your code, how it interacts with other elements, and where your understanding might need deepening. Instead of fearing bugs, view them as a puzzle that needs to be solved. This mindset shift can transform your coding journey, making it more about exploration and learning rather than getting it right the first time. Remember, overcoming bugs is a badge of honor in the coding world. It means that you're pushing your limits and growing. Diving into our sixth insight, it's all about why practical experience outweighs theoretical knowledge. While understanding the concepts and theories behind coding is essential, nothing beats the hands-on application. In the world of coding, doing is learning. Building projects, experimenting with code, and solving real-world problems develops your skills in ways that theoretical study alone cannot. For example, you can read all you want about riding a bike, but until you get on that thing and collect your bumps and bruises, you ain't learning how to ride. And we also can't forget that these practical experiences are what build up your portfolio and demonstrate your capabilities to future employers. So make it a point every day to work on projects that challenge you. Don't be afraid to break things. It's all part of the game. Next, let's dive into insight number seven, which is the undeniable importance of version control systems. If there's one tool that levels up your coding prowess, it's version control, with Git being the most renowned. Version control systems allow you to track changes, collaborate with others, and manage your projects efficiently. Think of it as a safety net for your code, enabling you to experiment fearlessly and revert to previous versions if something goes wrong. Embracing version control early in your journey not only eases collaboration, but also prepares you for industry standards and workflows. So if you haven't already, dive into understanding and using version control. It's a skill that pays dividends in every aspect of coding. Moving on to our eighth insight, we're talking about the significance of soft skills. While mastering programming languages and technical abilities is essential, soft skills often determine your success in a team and the industry at large. Communication, adaptability, teamwork, and problem solving are not just add-ons. They're fundamental components of a thriving tech career. These skills enable you to articulate your ideas clearly, collaborate effectively, navigate changes smoothly, and find creative solutions for complex issues. Remember, technology isn't built in isolation, but instead in communities and in teams. Fostering these interpersonal skills will make you stand out in a field often stereotyped for lacking. So invest in developing your soft skills alongside your technical abilities. It's a balance that will not only level up your coding career, but also enrich your personal relationships and projects. Our ninth insight is a challenge that many of us face, but few openly discuss, and that is overcoming imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is that nagging feeling of doubt, that voice inside your head that tells you you're not good enough or that you don't belong in the tech world despite your achievements. I've battled with imposter syndrome. Who has it? Transitioning from a non-tech background to becoming a full-stack developer, there were moments where I felt like I was just hiding, waiting for someone to discover that I didn't belong. But here's the kicker. Those feelings are normal and they can be overcome. The first step is recognizing that imposter syndrome is a sign that you're growing. You're stepping outside your comfort zone into something new and challenging. Talk about it with your peers and mentors. You'd be surprised how many of them share these same feelings. And always remember, Every expert was once a beginner. Embrace your journey, acknowledge your progress, and know that imposter syndrome is just part of the process. Last but not least, our 10th insight, the role of community and networking in the tech world. The journey of learning to code and building a career in tech isn't meant to be a lonely one. The communities you engage with and the professional networks you build can significantly influence your growth opportunities, and your overall experience in the field. Being part of a community, whether online or in person, offers a wealth of benefits. It provides a platform for sharing knowledge, seeking advice, finding mentorship, and receiving feedback on your work. This is one of the pillars that Zero to Mastery is built on, which is why we've nurtured a Discord community to nearly half a million members strong. Before I stepped into my role at ZTM, I was a student, immersed in this vibrant community. And if I'm being honest, I attribute most of my success to the support, inspiration, and connections that I found within this network. 
Regardless of the community that you're considering joining, remember that the value it brings extends far beyond technical learning. It's about building relationships, sharing successes and setbacks, and ultimately growing together. And that wraps up our journey on the 10 pivotal insights I wish I knew before diving into the world of coding. From choosing the right programming language to the indispensable power of community and network. These insights will guide you towards a more informed, efficient, and enjoyable career in tech. If you found this video helpful, please drop it a like and consider subscribing. As always, feel free to share any thoughts, comments, or questions down below. Keep growing, keep coding, and I'll catch you in the next one.